The American white working class makes up the core of Donald Trump's support, but what's driving their decision to support him over Hillary Clinton? We teamed up with the Kaiser Family Foundation for an in-depth survey. One issue that sharply divides Trump supporters from the rest of white working class is whether they believe immigrants from Muslim countries increase the terror risk here at home. 82% said they do. 37% who aren't considering Trump said the same. Many of the white working class, especially evangelical voters, also believe their religion is under attack. Gary Tuckman tonight takes a look at that. An Oklahoma Christian evangelical church. Hundreds of congregants worshiping together at the Guts Church in Tulsa. Many of them telling us they believe their Christian values are under attack. I think it's funny that um, we call ourselves a Christian nation, but actual evangelical, evangelical Christians um, are the ones that have to explain ourselves a lot. How many of you guys have truly, you could say, irrefutably, undoubtedly, that you've experienced the life of God? Is there anybody in here that's, you, I've experienced the life of God. Do you think there's an attack on Christian values in this country? There has been since uh, the devil became the devil. Our polling indicates 65% of working class white people believe Christian values are under attack. But among working class Christian evangelical white people, that number jumps to 89%. Do you believe Christian values are under attack? I think that objective morality is under attack. Among the other reasons cited by those who feel that way is this. Do you think immigrants from Muslim countries threaten Christian beliefs and values in this country? I think they test them. This is Jenks, Oklahoma, where three Syrian refugees have resettled since the conflict began in their country. Three of only a total of 16 in the entire state of Oklahoma. This woman lives in Jinx. Do you think Christian values are under attack in America today? I really do. So do you think that Muslim refugees coming to this country, coming to this state and this town have led to that? Yes, I do. I believe that we're, we're supposed to be quiet because, you know, it offends other people and I think that that's not American. One, two, three. Four-year-old Momen, a Syrian refugee, along with his three brothers and his parents, are now living in Oklahoma. Are you at all concerned for the safety of your children, your family, because there are some people who would prefer that you not be here? No one bothers my children when they go to school. Nothing hurts us. They respect us and they don't bother us. They treat you as you treat them. <laughs> And that answer gratifies the people at Catholic Charities of Tulsa, who have worked to resettle Syrians in Oklahoma. The executive director disagreeing with the belief that Christian values are being threatened. This is a country that for its entire history has celebrated the diversity of religions, and uh, we, need to, we need to hold that value dear to our hearts and protect it. The just live by trust. Back at the evangelical church, the pastor does think there is an attack on Christian values but he says it isn't necessarily a bad thing. Honestly, I love the whole idea that we're set apart. I love the whole idea that it's like, wait a second, I've got to stand for something. And if you're going to stand for something, that means there's going to be some, maybe a little persecution, maybe there's going to be some resistance to it. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Tulsa, Oklahoma.